Oh, so that is a song by Christina Aguilera, collaboration with Herbie Hancock, who is an originator of the song. It's called A Song For You. And it says, I've acted out my life in stages with 10,000 people watching, but we're alone now and I'm singing this song for you. So something about that energy is very important and significant to this message today. And as I'm splitting the deck, we have karma and we have priestess. So there has been an entire journey that has transpired and has been played out in front of you in order for you to see why you're being put in the spotlight, why God is shining a light on you, why things are changing in the mind and the spirit and the body in order for you to start positioning yourself towards leadership and why certain people have acted the way they've acted around you because of this vibrational reality that you've always wanted for yourself. And little did you know, Spirit says, you've been channeling your way and stepping into this role further and further, even if you thought you made a wrong decision with a partner, a friend, cutting people off, bringing people in. It's all been intuitively guided. You are in the right place at the right time. Hi everyone, I'm Rose Warrior. If you're new, for those returning, you already know the vibes. We are going to get into the truth here and we're gonna be guided by Holy Spirit. This is a message from Holy Spirit and the Ascended Masters as well as the angels. Yeah, 144 here, as I said, Holy Spirit and the Ascended Masters. So I'm also talking to those that are light workers, people that are really applying their entire energy and all that they have into a new life of complete divinity is what I'm hearing. That was at two minutes on the duration clock, which number two is high priestess energy. And we literally had priestess energy show up in the Oracle. Number two in Major Arcana is the High Priestess. So you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. I'm also picking up on Capricorn in this collective message today. Remember, this is an all signs message, but we're going to see what Spirit has for you today. Holy Spirit, Ancestors of the Highest White Light, please safely guide, guard, and protect my vessel as we see what is the direction of truth and what value do you have today through the facts and the evidence here and synchronicity of my beautiful divine feminine and masculines here. Protect us and let us see with our spiritual eyes and let us hear with our spiritual ears. 244 four on the duration clock. Let's begin. So we have here as I shuffled live for you or on the camera, we have spiritual energy is increasing. Whoever I'm speaking to, your spiritual energy, let me fix this lighting, is definitely increasing. You are an, on an embarkment of something very brand new, very much so I'm getting new, 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 bright, 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 and I'm seeing the color yellow. So something about your aura is shining like the sun, and this is because you've been working on your inner confidence and you've been working on cutting cords and calling your power back. This is awesome energy. To clarify, the spiritual energy is increasing. We have relax and receive. Spirit wants you to be so confident in what's occurring in your life right now that you get to relax and you get to receive the beauty that is coming into your life because you've been truly working hard. Spirit is asking that you work with emerald or you work with green. I'm also hearing emerald flame. I'm also hearing archangel of the emerald flame. So something about an archangel guiding in a flame within you from this heart chakra here. There is something being ignited and there is an emerald flame coming into your body and also allowing you to clear. I'm hearing karma from two past lives as well as ancestral karma and patterns that you are rewriting. So we have crow spirit animal, which is a very psychic spirit animal here. So I'm speaking to someone very highly psychic, also someone who could be possibly a medium as well. I say as well because everyone's psychic. It's just a matter of if you stay asleep to your psychic abilities or not. However, everyone has their own special version of what these psychic abilities can turn into, but very few people are chosen to have these mediumship abilities because you have to live a very specific life and have to have a very specific intentionality about the way you think in order to be a medium, i.e. an anchor for the divine realms as well as the lower realms, the, the veils of dark and light here. It is not an easy thing to be a medium because you sometimes have to see things you don't want to see and you have to learn how to transmute negative energies into positive energies. And sometimes you are, I, I'm hearing in between and having to figure out why the ancestors are showing you what they're showing you. Because remember, it's not supposed to be all positive light, rainbows and sunshine without realizing that the world can be a very dark place and the astral realms and the other realms that aren't just 
highly vibrational, you know, we have to set them free in some way, shape or form. So there's definitely something about mediumship ability, but we have Egyptian ancestry here. So this is a collective message, but it's probably not going to resonate with everyone because we have millionaire mindset. You have to really be in this millionaire mindset or this ability to channel millionaire aura. Yeah. To When I say, when I say millionaire aura, I mean that you definitely are someone that knows how to channel money and abundance and ability into your body. You can develop abilities very easily. And this is why you are very much so increasing in spiritual energy. So spirit says relax at this time and allow things to flow in. Yes, trust the signs. This has signs here. It says instincts are the message from the inner divine. Period. The other card said allowing. So that's awesome. Allow the signs to come in. Holy Spirit, what do we have here? These are just general messages. We're going to get into tarot. But I am picking up on someone who has to work with the emerald flame or something about studying emerald flame. The Egyptian ancestry is very present here. Yes, you're receiving. Look at this. Relax and receive. And we've got receiving here. Look at that. What are the odds that these two words are coming out together in two different decks? It says, every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. Trust your inner guidance. Spirit says, it doesn't matter at this point who has a problem with you. Because as it is, and as you've always seen, people are going to talk whether you die. People are going to talk whether you're alive. They're going to talk whether they don't know if you're alive or dead. People are just going to always say anything else but support you sometimes and that's not your problem anymore spirit says i've already brought you and i'm bringing you your soul tribe this is why certain people don't resonate and certain people do resonate with you because you're on this embarkment of figuring this all out by your everyday choices so it says releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives what did i say two past lives ago are you clearing things so you're releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives and unbound Something about the new moon or from, sorry, the full moon in Libra, as well as the Aries eclipse we're about to have soon. It's going to set you free and project you forward. You could also be a Leo and Aries here. Whew, unbound. So I'm getting mind, body, and spirit is unbound. You are now limitless. You are now stepping into your potential of expansiveness, as well as understanding that with great power comes great responsibility. Yeah, these two cards want to come out here. So I spoke of mirroring and triggering on my page earlier on the community post, as well as I spoke of mirroring on Capricorn and Pisces tarot readings today. So check out Capricorn and Pisces readings if you have that energy in your circle or you have this energy in your situation or your body. So who or what is triggering you at this time? Something that is being mirrored back to you is trying to show you where you are not free. And that's why you're releasing soul patterns and contracts again break the chain this is a very specific message something about your egyptian ancestry here you don't have to resonate with this whole message but take what's yours spirit says it's a collective message and it's really for people that are really tapped in right now so it's not for the faint of heart or people who are not spiritually resilient you're gonna have a lot of information today so some some of it may be overwhelming for you or some of it may not resonate because it's really very much so directed towards people who are breaking the chain people who are actually doing this not wanting or wishing they're doing this it says ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future literally the future is always changing so know that it is you have destiny right you have certain milestones that you're meant to meet but how you get there is always changing for sure and sometimes your decisions can be so profound that you could even rewrite the course of how it all works i'm getting akasha which is the energy pool of past, present, and future selves, as well as decisions, as well as energies, as well as timelines. This is just what I'm picking up on. I'm super tapped in right now. Unbound spirit. What is this unbound energy here? We're going to pull some tarot for you too. I wasn't going to go on a collective reading today. I was, I was actually called to rest a bit, but then I got called back up and this is probably why. So we've got the Council of Light, Divine Orchestration. Somebody prayed for me and manifested me to get up and do this reading, so here you go. So we have Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realms, Council of Light. So the Council of Light is speaking to you at this time. You could work with any of these Ascended Masters that you see. I'm hearing, I have no reason, whoa, Spirit is telling me, I have no reason to say the exact Ascended, ascended Masters here. 
you are able to pick out which ones you work with just because your vibration already aligns with them. So I'm picking up on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different orbs here. So there's definitely ten different angelic beings or ten different ascended light beings who are here in cooperation with you. At the end of the deck here, we do have grief. You've been going through some sort of a loss, and this has to do with your triggers at this time. You could be definitely someone who's triggered very easily at this time. So right by grief here, right? We have grief showing up. We have delusion. Delusion speaks of having a certain practice, having a certain divinity about you, but not surrendering. So then you fall into this delusional path. So some of you may be already taking a step in a way where you know you're not surrendering. Spirit says to make sure you're always carrying that spirit of, of being able to surrender, being able to have that conviction and follow the nudges when they tell you you're not on course because nobody can tell you what to do other than yourself. It's so important to be self-aware and spiritually aware. What is this mirror? Well, that was quick. So if you channel this energy and you break these bondages and you really learn to relax and receive in a new light, right? In a new light, meaning take it as it resonates, you'll receive this divine abundance because divine abundance is already around you is what I'm getting. You were born to align with love's will, follow the Tao, which is the universal divine flow, and serve something beyond the ego. There you go. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. Exactly, which is why spirit is asking you to what? Relax and receive. That's going to be the message today in the title. It's going to be relax and receive for sure. So we've got relax and receive. That's going to be your title today. So yes, anything being mirrored to you at this time is just showing you where you need to work on building strength in and shining light on those shadows here. This goes for me. This goes for everyone who's doing the work. It's not easy. Healing and energy goes in a spiral here, just like the spirals in our energy centers are those chakras, those energy wheels. Same thing. Everything is connected as above, so below, as within, so without. I'm getting these flowers here, meaning you are highly vibrational. And I'm getting to tell you, I have this energy here in my chest. I've been having it in every reading. It'll come up and then it'll burst out here. Something about bursting out and being yourself. There's this energy with water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You're being asked to dive deep into the psyche, dive deep into the mind through meditation. Anything else, Spirit, before tarot? I know this is a super blunt, quick message, one, two, three, four on the clock here, but I really was called up to give this message out. Spirit says yes. The answer is yes. Just say yes. It literally says just say yes. So if you're denying this message, it's either not yours or you're not ready for this new part of your initiation. But I am being guided to give you this information at this time. Right at the top of the deck, we have Egypt, ancient knowledge, which is so crazy that that came out. A friend does not have your best interest. Spirit says, choose you. Right below that, we have Scorpio energy here. So you could be a Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising. Remember, we were just picking that up. Intuition, as well as it says, sensual flow. So something about your flow here. Your intuition is powerful. Wow, it says precise insight leader. You're very precise at this time. Trust your intuition. I'm going to split the deck and tell you what it says. Wow, that's gorgeous. So you could be an empress here or an emperor. Beauty and grace. Giving me Mar Marilyn Monroe energy. So Marilyn Monroe is my twin. She's an aqu aqua moon, aqu Aquarius moon, and also a Leo rising. So you could be also of these energies of Aquarius or Leo as well. Or you could have a lot of fixed energy. So you're very hard to sway. You're very hard to move because you're powerful like that. Yep. Six of so uh, this is I was gonna say six of swords. So you're moving on from something, but this is six of wands here, and you're moving into recognition. The six of wands is recognition from the ancestors. They're making sure you are recognized for your talents. So you are to relax and receive. Look at them, they're relaxing and receiving. The six of wands here is Leo Sagittarius Aries energy, and it speaks of abundance, as well as this reef is symbolic of an everlasting flame that cannot be burnt out. That's what six of wands means. So you're highly protected at this time while you're moving on. Yes, I said six of swords, but this is 10 of wands, which literally means now no longer carrying burdens, letting the burdens burn, letting the bridges burn that are necessary because spirit has been showing you through tower moments. It's just time to move on from certain people, places, and things. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Wow, so we have six and 11 showing up. So you could be seeing sixes, which deal with your finances and family. 
You could be seeing 11, which deal with your personhood or your personal power here, as well as speaking the truth and stepping through that doorway of your manifested reality. So we have Sagittarius energy as well as Gemini energy, mainly Gemini energy here. This is the lovers. You are definitely being overseen right now as you are making certain connections with your soul tribe. And you could be meeting a soulmate who's platonic, but they make you feel at home. This is your karmic justice. You are definitely being balanced at this time because you've been dealing with clearing karma for your ancestors. So you are heavily protected to receive guidance in a way where it's going to bring beauty and grace to you because you already embody beauty and grace in many realms is what I'm hearing. So what is this lover's energy spirit? What is this lover's energy here? Lover's, lover's, lover's energy. Wow. So look, these are the keys being given to you. So we've got six and five. You could be 56, 65 watching or something about five and six could be very significant to you. But these are two major arcana cards coming one after the other. That's been happening all day. 1551 here on the duration clock. So you could be seeing the numbers 78, 78 or 1551, 11, 11. Or you could be seeing the numbers 56 or 65. These are very significant numbers and something about taking the incremental step spiritually has now brought you to this ascension that you open up a can of worms that you really can't put back. This is a good thing. 1616 16 now showing up. Powerful numbers here because that breaks down to 77, which means your wish fulfillment is here. You have achievements on the way. This is Hierophant here. Taurus energy it could be a Taurus sun, moon, or rising collective as well as you could be a Gemini sun, moon, or rising as well as a Libra sun, moon, or rising here. You don't have to be, but these energies could also be just situations or they can be in another person that you're dealing with in your aura. This is a change coming here because spirit has granted you as the high priest or the high priestess. You are definitely, and I'm speaking to someone highly intuitive and highly psychic. You are not just highly psychic, you are going through a massive awakening, a massive change because this karmic justice is here. Look at this. King of Pentacles at the bottom. Your abundance is here on the bottom of that. Ace of Swords. This is the truth. You are the truth. You are the light. You are the love. You are the sword that shines bright in the night. So what is this lover's spirit? Oh, I already said that here. What is this karmic justice with number 11 here? Karmic justice in this Libra energy spirit. Wow, this came out again. Ace of swords. We got two swords here. So we've got the sword here and then we've got another sword. So something about your truth. This is now 111 energy. You could be seen 111 or like I said, 1111. They're very similar and significant numbers. I already said you could be seen sixes and elevens in the beginning. You're receiving something and I believe it's a spiritual it's not just an awakening, it's a spiritual upgrade. So I'm going to write that. There was a spiritual upgrade that you've unlocked. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you definitely received a spiritual upgrade. I wish I had my water here, but that's how you know I wasn't ready to hop back on right away. I just did a bunch of readings. If this resonates or my Capricorn or any of my other readings, especially my Pisces that is uploading right now as we speak, if these readings resonate... You can message me below and text me for a personal reading. However, I sometimes do get guided not to do specific readings because people want to tap into others. That is not what we do here. I tap into you. I tap into your life as well as only with your permission. I am a very, very much so. I want to tell you. <laughs> Spirit wants me to say powerful, but I don't want to say that. I don't feel comfortable saying that. Spirit wants me to say powerful reader, yes, but I'm a person of integrity. I'm a person that really wants to provide you with something other than the distractions. I want you to tap into yourself. So if you come to me for a personal reading, please know that it does come from the heart as well as it comes from spirit, as well as it comes from my guides and my angelic guides here. Sorry, there was someone calling me, so you have a lot of distractions already around you. But Spirit says you're going to be slicing through the illusions and seeing things clearly for what they are, as well as you are someone who's very divine. You could be a cop, you could be someone in the law enforcement watching tarot readings on the low, or you could be just someone who's tapped in to your divinity heavily at this time. What do we have, Spirit? Yes, another swords energy here, page of swords, you're in research or you're studying esoteric knowledge and that's what's bringing you to this high priest, high priestess energy where your intuition's being tapped into 
through facts and research. Yep. You're being put in the spotlight. Could be speaking to a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries here. You are definitely shining bright. I'm speaking to a divine masculine and a divine feminine here who's standing into their power and on their throne. And this is your karmic justice. And this is because you've always carried the truth as well as clarity is coming in for you. The Queen of Wands, it speaks of a ray of light. You are a ray of light. Like I said, you shine in the night and you shine during the day just the same. I'm picking up on sunflowers as well as daffodils, as well as a golden crown and a golden aura. You are somebody who is to speak the truth because you have a reservoir of knowledge within you that's going to be blessing people. Look at that. We have number five and then we have number four with the emperor here. I'm speaking to an empress, an emperor, somebody whose karmic justice is they're going to relax and receive this spiritual upgrade. This is amazing, amazing energy. Give me three more cards, spirit. Give me three more cards. What's this hierophant and lovers energy here? Nine of pentacles here. So to clarify the lovers here, as well as the high priest, high priestess energy here in the hierophants. Look at how there's two energies here being overseen by an archangel and the sun, as well as this energy of God or this spiritual mentor here is overseeing two people as well. So you could be two masculines that are dating, two feminines that are dating. Remember, this is a queer friendly community as I'm a part of the queer community. 2112 here on the clock. I'm telling you all these numbers so y'all can write them down and search what they mean. You're going to find some amazing messages numerologically too. So what I'm picking up on is this was clarified. Remember, this also speaks of decisions and also coming into alignment with yourself. That is the whole purpose of Twin Flames and all that stuff, which is why I don't read for that kind of crap. It's not crap, but I don't read for it because people have been misconstrued for way too long. Twin Flames have to do with yourself have to do with coming back into alignment with the self. Yes, there are people out here that are your exact reflections, of course, but this always has to do with an as within, right? So without, and an as above, so below. It's very important to understand this, y'all. And it's so easy to be like, I'm gonna bash that because I don't like that Rose just said that. I don't like that Rose is saying things I'm not familiar with. Do your research and you'll find that I'm only giving you the truth from Holy Spirit. And that's because I heard one person, I heard them psychically say, I don't like that, they just said that. You don't have to like it here, but this is part of the reason why you might be in crossroads here. You might be in some sort of confusion, but Spirit is protecting you so you can still see your way out of it. And that's for the one of you or the two of you here that are brand new and you're not sure what this message is for. Remember to take it if it resonates. This is for people that are very deep into their spirituality. This is nine of pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And spirituality is just life, just actually studying the divine within you in any way, shape or form. It doesn't have to be tarot. This is a humanity shining forward and you receiving confidence and you receiving pleasure for all the joy you've given the world here. This is a queen in her own right, as well as this queen of wands energy here. Nine of pentacles means you don't really need to rely on anyone but yourself at this time, as well as the spirits providing you with people that want to come in, take it. Spirit says, don't deny help and love, especially when it's platonic and, it, and no one needs it from you or needs anything back from you. Exactly. Don't deny love. Look at that. Three of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, your karmic justice and you being the truth, speaking the truth and having more clarity, allowing the clarity is going to bring in your Three of Cups. This is soulmate connections. This is also connections with best friends, family members, reuniting, 2333 on the clock. So that's 2333 and we've got the Three of Cups here. So you and two others are going to be in this 3-3 energy here. I am picking up on an energy of cooperation here as well as letting relationships that don't serve you anymore end so new ones can come in that serve you. We got Page of Swords, Queen of Wands here. Seven, number seven is the Chariot, Cancer energy. So definitely we have Cancer energy coming up twice here. Yeah, definitely some water sign energy. This is a collective reading, okay? But this is to a very specific group of the collective. So I'm picking up on the Sphinx. This, this is a white Sphinx and the dark Sphinx here. And th these represent understanding, like I said, the veils of light and dark. Dark, people think means evil. That is not what that means. Darkness is what lurks in the shadow due to the light not being able to shine on it. So this goes with shadow integration as well. You have 
understood there's parts of yourself that you pushed into a corner and you thought those parts were evil because you were taught they were evil. Now you know you are of the light and the dark at the same time, but you operate with the mindset and intentions of bringing everything to the light because you work for God here. So the chariot is coming back home to yourself and also you're going to be going home or something about home here for you, which is what number six means. Home, finances, family matters, all that stuff here. And that came to clarify the... Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and you're on a mission here. So this is a King, a Queen, and this is a Prince. So this could be a family I'm speaking to, or this could be something to deal with a family coming into alignment. This is really awesome energy here. Powerful, emotionally intelligent, as well as I'm picking up on spiritually intelligent people. I'm going to pull from my Angel deck. I'm being called to pull one or two cards, and then I'll go back to some tarot. So angel of action, take action towards your destiny. Wow, that's interesting that we've been talking about that. And there's more yellow showing up. You've got a lot of yellow and orange here. Look at that. Boom. Because your sacral and solar plexus chakras here are being ignited and you're, this new flame is within you. Lots of yellow here. So also it says new beginning. Something new begins today. Embrace the possibilities, which is what 111 and 1111 means. To embrace that you create your reality with your thoughts and actions. Remember, you are not your thoughts, but what happens is your thoughts send out energy and then your heart has to deal with certain situations that you attracted because of these types of thoughts. So there you go. Archangel Cameo came out in a lot of my readings today. It says embrace healthy relationships. This is an archangel telling you to embrace healthy relationships. Look at this orange here. This is the sacral. This is dealing with your sensual energies and understanding this karmic justice is not just for you to worry. It's not for you to worry at all. As a matter of fact, it's the perfect timing for you to start embracing healthy relationships. We have take charge. It says leadership and self-discipline are required to take control of your life. See, this message is coming through. And no wonder it sounds so blunt because the, even the angels are like, absolutely not. You are to receive this love. You are, you are to receive these decisions and these results from the decisions you're making when they really feed you. See, I see this divine feminine here. There's a snake as well as a tree. And then there's these leaves here. And there's a lack of blooming energy here with this divine masculine, this divine feminine. This deals with your own energies is what I'm getting here. So spirit says to take charge here and leadership and self-discipline are required. And you are being guided by the archangel. So you could be seeing 4-4 four, four, or 4-4-4 four, 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 or 11-4-4. Four, four. Wow. Anything else, Spirit, before we end this reading? Beautiful message, but it was definitely very direct, I would say. Because sometimes that's what we need. You have two archangels coming out here. Archangel Cameo and you have Archangel Michael. This has never happened in a reading before where I've pulled out both archangels cards. 27-44. On the clock here. I'm going to write that number down because I'm going to search up what that number means after this. I love to learn. So it says, Archangel Michael. Michael provides protection and strength. Your sacral chakra and your throat chakra are being cleared at this time. Look, and we've got yet another sword. He has a sword. He has a sword. We have a sword here. Look at all these swords. And then this Libra. Justice card, if you really notice, she has a sword. Look at all this energy. Wow. I'm speaking to truth tellers, truth speakers. Y'all are definitely truth tellers, truth speakers here. This is amazing energy. The archangels are here guiding you and want you to take charge at this time because you're powerful and you're being called to step forward. So take charge. Let's get it. If this reading resonates, you want a personal, or if my other readings resonate, if this one doesn't, it's okay. You can go to other readings that I have or to another tarot reader. There's so many people out here and I support them all. I love you so much. And if you want that personal, text me below. If you would like to donate to my PayPal to keep this page going in its fruitful form, it's going to be provided for, but Spirit says there is a level of reciprocation as this is an energy exchange, yeah? As I'm giving these messages, there is to be an energy exchange of some sort if you are a supporter, even if it's just a simple like that takes two milli milliseconds here. Much love to you. Peace.